Well, we're just getting fired up here Friday morning. Uh, we moved the equipment about 6.30. We moved the equipment to this field here where we're going to start in. I have to go back and get the fuel truck going and stuff like that. So, I'm just getting the spot cleared out so we can get equipment into the field. Um, Jared and, and Kerr, they were available here right now. So I used them two guys to help me get equipment moved. And I can come over here now uh, afterwards and get fuel into the combine and do all that stuff. Uh, we've got four loads of corn on. We've got to get unloaded. Uh, those trucks. This, this car is running 30 percent. So, well, here's the first load going out here Friday morning. Uh, this piece of corn here, we no-tilled. Uh, we've no-tilled it two years in a row. This ground is real wet right here, and um, hopefully we can get this out before it rains or snows here so my auger's doing pretty good it's still together anyway um, I haven't seen the parts for the I haven't seen the replacement parts yet so as soon as we get rained off we're going to get that in there we're going to put a brand new auger flight in there and um, the auger tube itself is tore up and wore out so We'll get that on here when it rains.
might be able to run quite a while like this, but if the temperature drops any more than what it is, uh, we're going to be having to shut down. We've only got about an acre and a half or so on this one end of the field that it lays real wet. This field, uh, we've no-tilled the last couple of years. It's been, had a decent crop on it. It's averaging 150 bushel to the acre, which is not a huge amount of corn, but this is a pretty good uh, yield for what this uh, ground is here. So. Jason's pulling away, the auger's folding back. We're gonna get out here and check the screens. See what they look like. Ooh. Well, they're getting wet. We're on borrowed time. We're, we're plugged up back here. What up in there is not bad, but the front screens are plugged. Trouble with the tailings here. Yeah, it's just got corn going right out the back. Got it going right out the back, so I think we're done. Everything is just gummed up enough here that there's got a lot of corn that's gone through the back of the combine. This was one pass down and back. So I think we're done. Got a lot of corn coming right out the back of the combine. Our last pass here. Oh, there's a lot of corn here. There. So, corn's going right through the combine. So we're going to have to shut down. Snowed out. We got about four acres left here. The back part of the field back in there is real wet. So at least we got that part done. And then we're close to the road here now. Uh, Jason's over on the side road over there offloading his last little bit. Onto the truck, so he's gonna run around the block and then come back up the hill here with the green buggy. We were loading right inside the field here. Um, trucks were coming out okay, and then once this snow started to happen it got slippery so i had him pull out go over there so we wouldn't get a truck stuck what i'm gonna have to do with this unless it gets warm and this thing melts i'll probably have to bring up the salamander we might be able to just blow this crap out too if it stays if it doesn't freeze we'll be able to just blow these screens out but um I've had them before. I've had them. Uh, I've had them uh, freeze up. So um, yeah, I don't even want to take it on the road because uh, I'm worried that I'm going to have to be traveling on the salty roads. So we might come back over this afternoon and just blow this out so that this crap isn't in there. So. I'm on my way back from P&M Diesel now with this C500. This thing runs real nice now. Um, it had a broken rocker arm shaft. Um, they replaced that. It was broke right at the number four cylinder where the bolt goes down through the rod to hold the rockers. Uh, Mike ended up doing the uh, overhead on it too, so.
vibration to break that shaft. We'll show that shaft to you here in a minute. I've got that sitting right on the floor of the truck here. I'm just going by where they're spread manure now. And it looks as though we're probably going to be shutting down from that operation. Uh, it's pretty well crappy up here. They're spreading right there. So we're going to get this back to the shop and we'll show you that shaft. That shaft is right down there on the floor there. So we're going to keep on keeping on here. Well, it's Friday night. Uh, we've got the C5 back. I've got to get this thing figured out. I don't know if I've got a bad connection on the battery or if I've got a bad connection on the starter. Uh, we got to get to the bottom of that and why it doesn't start too good. But we got some new parts here that came today. Got the shroud for the um, auger in the bin. A new auger, um, that bracket that we welded up the other day. Now this auger, this part of the end is, is all part of this auger. So... Um, I don't know yeah so that that's that so I don't know what's going on there they've got something made different with that auger um, there's such a send well there's the there's that other piece right there so I don't know Yeah, see, there's something goofy going on there because that's the exact same size as the um, end of that little piece. And then that drops down. It's, it's threaded here and not right there. So I don't know what the, what the uh, deal is with that. So that brings us over here to the rocker lever shaft that is, was broke on the C500. That right there, I don't know if you can see that crack uh, right there. You can kind of see how that's not too awful straight. So P&M got this fixed. Um, I actually called me yesterday afternoon, so that truck hadn't even haven't hadn't even been there um, 24 hours, and he had this um, all tore apart and fixed, and he did the uh, overhead on the um, on the valves and the the rockers and all that crap, the exhaust valves and the intake valves, jakes and the injectors. So, that runs like a top dollar now. Um, we could start, well, I can't start this up. I actually had a blower motor switch that was bad. I thought it had a bad blower on it, so I had to take this air and take off to get to the cab blower. Uh, it was right inside that box there. So I had that all apart. I thought it had a bad blower. Um, but it ended up being a, a bad switch. I went out to Kenworth and um, got a new switch for that. It's actually right here. Um, that's nice. Not off of that. So I've got to pull the pins out of the plug and. Um, Put them in this new new plug, and then I've got to switch the um, one of the um, connectors here was loose. So um, I've got a new switch there, and I've also got a new switch for the dash that runs the um, lift axle. So, we've got a few things we got to work on tomorrow before we can get doing anything, if we can combine. But the, it's raining right now, and it seems to be that the um, 
snow is going to be gone um, by maybe late afternoon, so we let things dry out a little bit, and maybe by 4 or 5 o'clock tomorrow night we can get back on the combine again. I've got about four acres left where we're at. We'll get that cleaned up and we'll get moving on. So with that being said, folks, uh, we'll catch you at the next video. So thanks for watching, and we'll catch you later.